Dear activists for the protection of privacy, dear people from all over the European Union, dear mothers and fathers, sisters and brothers, sons and daughters. Since 2009, the EU has been subsidizing the INDECT project with millions of euros. Even though several media outlets have already reported about this network surveillance technology, only few EU citizens know what it is supposed to be. This year it will be tested for the first time during the Olympic Games in London, to supervise the stadiums by using flying observation drones. The application of INDECT aims to analyze conspicuous behavior to prevent crimes, in virtual life as well as in real life, before they actually happen. Not only does this sound crazy, it is cutting deeply into our basic right to privacy, because those cameras will be able to replicate scanned personal biometrical features with existing digital files about persons in databases such as social networks. Hence, every person could be retraced and supervised. Anybody who says or does anything, abnormal, or anything which the system considers to be threatening, both on the internet and in real life, is potentially suspicious. We have been accepting the claims of disclosure of our private data for too long in order to prevent acts of terrorism. People started to accept being treated as potential terrorists or criminals, being more and more deprived of their basic rights, and allowing the surveillance society to gain increased control over them. Basic rights weren't given to us as a matter of course, but many generations kept fighting for them. Don't let those rights be taken away from us now. These days, we see the situation in Spain where calls for protests are criminalized by the government. Though the right to protest is an essential part of free speech, we should not tolerate the increasingly upcoming undemocratic features in the EU which mostly hide under the cloak of suppression of terrorism. And therefore we should move now and tell the citizens of the European Union about this project, which has been kept as a secret for so many years. We must create a public awareness and get the people on the streets and fight for their rights. It is for these reasons that we ask you to call up all organizations, which campaign for data privacy protection in your country, to join the protest. Create flyers and other media which provide information about INDEC and organize paper storms for example before and during the Olympic Games. Translate the message of this video into your mother tongue and spread it. Let's protest against INDEC like we did and are still doing against ACTA at the beginning of this year. Let's go for big protests again in Europe on July 28, 2012. We are anonymous. We are legion. We do not fight for slavery, we fight for liberty. In the name of democracy. Let us all unite. Expect us.